Psalms 73 verse 1 to 3 says, God is indeed good to Israel, to those who have pure hearts, but I nearly lost confidence. My faith was almost gone because I was jealous of the proud when I saw the things go well for the wicked. Now, my understanding of this text is that sometimes when we as Christians suffer or as followers of Jesus Christ suffer, we tend to almost see, just bluntly, just see how non-believers are, it's just going well for them. It's almost as if they do not suffer. It's almost as if they do not struggle to get to their success. And I think that I've noticed that a lot in these days where you see people that don't praise God. You see people that don't go to church. You see people that are just living a worldly life and they are millionaires even. And sometimes you just feel so jealous because it's like, why am I then suffering on earth that God has created, but those that don't even follow him are living as if they are living in heaven? And for the longest time, I just felt like it is a bit unfair that I live in the house that my father has created so poorly, yet people that don't even worship him, that just spit in his face basically every single day, I'm loving this lavish life in my father's house. It just broke me. And I had to remember that it doesn't work that way. At the end of the day, they are receiving the good. And I am, I, I am receiving the, the bad that I'm receiving right now. But at the end of the day, the good that God will give me will come. I need to be obedient because... One thing that I've understood is that God does not want human beings to repeat what Adam and Eve have repeated, has done actually. God wants us to be obedient so that when he sets boundaries in the garden or in the new world or in the afterlife or in his kingdom, we have the ability to obey it. And that is why it's so important for us to go to see how people are living lavishly right now. Because God needs to test and to see if can we obey his word so that when we step into his kingdom, we are obedient children. This world is temporary. Do not be fooled by people that are living lavish lives and that are worshipping gods that are lifeless. Do not be fooled by people that are worshipping fallen angels. Don't be fooled by it. The kingdom of God is worth being obedient to God. Believe me, living in God's presence is going to be the greatest thing that you can give yourself. Just be obedient. Follow God's word. It's okay to be jealous and to feel like you are being left behind and to feel like there are certain things that you just cannot achieve because you are doing it by the book. It is okay. God sees your heart. God knows your heart. God knows your desires. God knows what you're feeling. But he needs to also know that even if you go through all that pain in your heart, you have the ability to still remain obedient in him. Trust in him. Don't be tricked into thinking that this life is the only life that we have. Trust in God. Be obedient. His kingdom is worth it.